What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are opening up our third and last box of Rising Rampage. And I think it's unlikely I'm going to pick up more, but uh, you never know. Um, but uh, And we also have an insane mail day that we're going to hit after we open up the box, so definitely stay tuned for that. But first, um, in case you're not familiar with this set, I want to remind everyone what we're searching for. What is the jackpot card? Um, I think you get one of these for... Uh, I, I feel like it's like every 16 boxes or something like that and it is the Appaloosa which we pulled one of the secret rare but there's also this new rarity prismatic rare and just so you get an idea of how sought after this card is on TCG player it is currently going for the cheapest you can get it for is $350 on the open market when was the last time a TCG like the the set literally just came out for, I don't know, it's been like a week or two, or a few weeks, and the rarest card is at $350. That is, I, I'm not aware of anything like that in like uh, Pokemon or um, Magic or anything like that, or maybe like a Ren and Six foil, maybe. Uh, but uh, yeah, so stakes are high. I really want to pull that $50 card, obviously. And let's get into the box. As always, guys, uh, do me a favor. If you do enjoy this video, hit that like button down below. And if you're not already subbed to the channel, take a moment and hit that sub button. We do tons of Pokemon content to Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, occasionally we do Magic the Gathering. I've uh, been doing some different mobile games lately too with Pokemon Masters and stuff like that. So, tons of good stuff to check out if you're not already a sub. So, actually, I feel like my... Is this uh, coloring kind of weird? Let's see. Nope, that's not what I want. Uh, Alright, seems like the coloring is a little funny on this. But, uh, alright, we'll just go with it. So, box number three. Obviously, the biggest hit is the Appaloosa. Even the Secret Rare will suffice. I think that thing's going for still like 50 something dollars. Essentially, pays for the box by itself. Um, of the boxes we opened, we did get one that only had one uh, secret, which was very much a bummer. Alright, let's see. For our first pack, we got Morpheus. Dream Mirror, White Knight, the White Knight version, the uh, Dark Knight one is a Ultra. Alright, then we got the Mech Bird, then a Bird of Calamity, a Magnitian, and a Dino Wrestler to wrap it up. So, I've not heard uh, about anyone like you know, from uh, pulling, pulling one of these prismatics. So if you happen to have that fortune, let me know in a comment down below. And I'm curious to hear how many boxes it took for you to find it. And for next secret or super, we have a Simorg of Darkness, and then Berserker of Tenyi, then Set Upper Cut, Elbors, and uh, Yosenju Izna, and then a World Legacy Bestowal. So we've gone over this before, but I feel like the consensus is that's not that good. It's just that prismatic that you're kind of going for in Appaloosa. All that. Um, but I heard like people commenting like, not it's not that the set is bad. It's just it's not really sought after right now, and it's kind of like, I guess it's kind of like the off season, the competitive scene in Yu-Gi-Oh before like things get going again. So it's kind of like a lull, and you know the meta is kind of not set up again but there's a lot of potential in this set and here we have Morpheus I feel like I keep pulling this guy Dream Mirror Black Knight Morpheus this guy up here then we have Fortune Lady Pass so that is our first ultra of the box draw discharge and a cross debug there is a I think it's the Seahorse Ultra that's the best one and we've only pulled one of them so far the Marinsess I guess this archetype's not bad um, actually the ten years the prices of like even like the commons is surprisingly high white howling pretty cool card uh, I think it is going to be quite widely used I don't think the price will go very high just because I don't know supers I feel like there's gonna be plenty on the open market to keep prices pretty low 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the some speculation that I've heard is, you know, right now the except for minus the Prismatics and Appaloosa, there's a lot of really good cards get out. Um, but you know, right now the prices aren't that high. But you know that could change uh, once once like the meta kind of like settles down a little bit. You know, who knows where where these cards will belong. All right, about halfway through the first half of the box, and it's uh, not too strong. We got another Sabu, uh, bird of the beginning. How is that a, oh, okay. First, I was having trouble seeing the bird. Now I see it. FA Signing Star GT, and okay, Marinsis Cole Anemimone. And that is our first secret. I'm not that familiar with this one, but the Marinsis, I think, is a pretty popular archetype. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick check, sorry. All right, this is actually a $30 card, so that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to grab a sleeve for that one. Yeah, this is the 10 Ye Spirits. Um, it's pretty popular right now. I believe it's kind of like a brand new thing, too. So, good hit right there. Put it right there for now. And, okay, let's get one more hit like that. Or, oof, I still want... Oh, obviously I want that prismatic, but I don't even know. We got Diva right here. I don't even know. I'm assuming it takes a secret slot, but yet to confirm. Obviously, we got Dream Mirror of Joy. I haven't heard too many good things about this Dream Mirror archetype. Okay, and I am expecting one more Ultra. We pulled a couple of like the pack art. Thing. So I'm kind of hoping we don't get another one of those. We got number 29, Rescue Interlacer, and Dream Mirror Terror. <laughs> we got Yosinju Orochi Channeling. All right, let's get that seahorse. That's a weird sentence. All right, Defender of Lava. I like this art. Bird of the Beginning. Dimmering Glimmer. Fortune Lady calling for the Ultra Rare. I like it, leave it here right here. What is up with this coloring? Something, something's going on. Something's not right. Then a Fortune Fair, Fortune Lady. Rewind. Fuma Wave and Baba Barber. <laughs> okay. So yeah, beyond the uh, biggest hit, the seems like the rest of the prismatics they're going for like around like 150, and then the lowest one is for about 70. But uh, obviously those are all home runs. But Opelousa is that jackpot that we're all hunting for, and man, that would be insane to get it on video. See if we can do it. All right, last pack of the first side of the box. We got this really cool barricade transformer thing, a sky battle, and then a link mail archfiend. In my opinion, one of the best arts in this set. That just looks really cool. Fortune Lady Past, a sword sting, bird of calamity, and Izna and a Fuma wave. All right, on to the second half of the box. Ooh, that was a good opening. Got this uh, little scale thing. Marinces Current. I think that's actually a pretty good card. And Mayas, Mayo Senju Hitat. And Star Power. Okay. Hold that. And World Legacy Bestowal. Okay. So, one, I actually didn't pick up any of the new Speed Duel sets. Uh. Speed Duel I feel like it's kind of cool, but I don't know, I feel like it's not that popular. I I am kind of, I think it would be cool if it does kind of uh, catch some momentum. You know, just the, the Yu-Gi-Oh metagame, like even if I just watch like replays or people and they're, they're taking time to explain what's going on, it's, I don't know, it's, it's pretty complicated. And just like the turns, they're just absolutely insane. All right, let's see. We got 29 Mannequin Cat, Psychic Fervor, Return to the Normal, Reversible Beetle, 
and Avita Rebuilder of Worlds. Kind of a cool art. And a 10 spirit, nice. Draw Discharge, Lamia, and Cross Debug. All right, second side of the box. We're going pretty fast and uh, no ultras, no secrets yet. And after that uh, box where we only had one secret, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Let's see, we got the Onslaught, Yosinji Wind Worship, Bird of Protection. Ah, we keep pulling this thing. Borload Exchange Dragon, Fortune Vision, World Legacy Bestow, Beat Raptor, and a Fury of Fire. Alright, let's see. Defender of Labyrinth, Bird of the Beginning, Dormer Glimmer, Bird Protection, and then another Dream Mirror of Terror. And then La Kalel. I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh sets are kind of small enough because I feel like it's strange when, um, although I guess it's good if you're when you're going for play sets and supers, but like very often you get two, I'm, I feel like, sometimes it feels like I can pull like a whole play set of uh, supers. Alright, Barricade Borg, Grid Rod, and then the Sim Simorg Darkness. Repulsion, Cryonic Coldo, and DMZ Dragon. Alright, we got that Sky Battle again. Blocker, Volt Tester, Diva. And okay, Gizmic Orochi. Let's take a quick look. Guy's going for like nine. All right, not the not the home run we're looking for, but I think this is our first one, and that does look pretty cool. It's like a has four legs, three snake heads, and a bunch of spears, <laughs> and looks like some kind of uh, three tails or something like that. And then fists of the unrivaled Tenyi, a Dino wrestler, DMZ, and Beat Raptor. So. As long as we get those two secrets, that's like step one. And then we'll worry about getting actually good ones. And we did get one good one with the Marincess secret. So put that in the back and we'll go over all of our hits at the end. And reminder, there is an insane mail day, which we're about to go over as well. So definitely stay tuned till the end of the video for that. We've got that Interlacer, Glimmer Glimmer, Defender of the Labyrinth, Link Mail Archfiend, and Tenyi Spirit. Fuko Blackout Curtain, Draw Discharge and Bird of Calamity. All right, we got four packs left. Looking for one more Ultra. Hopefully, it's that Seahorse. But yeah, this uh, this set feels very, you know, you're 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 trying to win the lottery, and if you come up short, you know, you're you're going to take an L. Um, so it's like Appaloosa or bust and then eh, like not that we've ever seen it but if you happen to draw the prismatic then uh congrats you are very fortunate okay here we go dragoonity knight romulus looks pretty cool and then another tenue spirit nice dino wrestler a rogue and the wave card Put this right there all right, and then we have are wrapping up with two packs, so um, I would say we kind of didn't get our money's worth from the box, but uh, you know I feel like that comes comes with the territory when you're kind of going for like these like lottery card kind of situation, hunting for those max rarities. So we'll we'll kind of go with it. While I'm a little disappointed, I wouldn't say. No regrets for about that. Sextet Summon, Voltester, and then a White Aura Monoceros, and then Nahada for the Tenyi. Beat Raptor, Sword Sting, and Link Back. So, um, okay box, not the best, but uh, decent pulls. We got a Dragoonity Knight Romulus, another Morpheus, that's maybe our third or fourth one. Same thing with this Borolode Excharge Dragon, Fortune Lady Calling. A Gizmok Orochi, Serpent Sky Slasher, and our best pole, Marincess Coral Anemone. And uh, now for, let's go over our, 
insane mail day. I'm really excited to show you this. Um, I thought it would have been absolutely insane if we pulled a prismatic, but no worries. We actually got one right here, and it came in a dope case. Um, so I'll probably, maybe I'll try to like replay it, but like, this is how you're supposed to wrap up. This thing came, like, it's just one card, came in a good size box, and there was plenty of like, um, not bulb wrap, but like the like the pillow things in there and then this thing was wrapped in more bubble wrap and stuff like that it was in a little pouch and then in this awesome pretty cool ultra pro case and it is you can probably guess what it is oh wait is that a dent no way. we'll take a look but boom all right you ever wondered what a 300 dollar 350 dollar car looks like that's what it is this is what prismatic's all about and uh yeah so actually I'll, I'll take a look at that card off camera but i'm sure it's just on like the sleeve or whatever but because i did look, kind of take a close inspection of the card didn't see any damage but yeah so that's it that's our third box probably be our last one so we'll probably wait until the next set fist of the gadgets for Yu-Gi-Oh openings but i hope you guys did enjoy as always guys hit that like button down below um subscribe if you're not already and uh yeah let me know what you think about this prismatic rare do you like these max rarity things and uh yeah let me know what your thoughts are thanks for watching i'm wanda turtle i'll catch you guys next time And uh, yeah, just to confirm, there was just, the dent is just in the sleeve. <laughs> so, no worries. I'll probably, I don't know, this case is really cool, but I, don't know, I feel like a, a more traditional case, top loader or a uh, card saver is what I'll keep it in. But uh, hey, I appreciate that the sender, the seller, did take appropriate caution in sending me this very expensive card. And uh, yeah, this case is pretty cool. So yeah, just a quick update.